Another thing I was fascinated with was this particular piece, Shadow. The Gaga method is so much central to the way that you function. Some people may not understand what Gaga is, and I know it's a, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a rather deep process mm -hmm. and evolves over time. But if you could just give a bit of so a window for example, onto it. In Gaga, you know, when we listen to the body, you know, we, we, we can say, let's listen to our floating bones. And so if I'll tell you, listen to your floating bones, most of the people will close their eyes and listen to how it feels. But in Gaga, we want to open the eyes and see how we can listen to the inside and the outside. Try, try to float your bones. In the same time, but I'll also give, you know, something and many people ask about Gaga, and instead of... You try? I, I can say some, I can say a few things about Gaga, sing, about, about the tools that it gives us to, uh, to wake up a lot of numb areas in our bodies and to be aware to the inside and to the outside and to get efficient and to connect to uh, speed and delicacy in the same time. But we can try some things together, you know, if j you can just sit and instead of uh, talking, we'll try something. So just try to collapse a bit in your seat. Drop into gravity, like we do every day. Come on, really, in the chest. really collapse. Feel your chest, your shoulder. Get, you know, like in front of the head. television. And then, in the same, in the same time, we, we, we can s tell ourselves to float and to be lighter. Start to float so, from the inside. So feel this. Slowly. Float against gravity. And again collapse. I don't see you collapse, people. <laughs> <laughs> you collapse. And then, and then, you know, we can, we can even try to sit on a truck. Maybe you can all sit on a truck. <laughs> and then you can sit on a truck and collapse. <laughs> And you can sit on the truck and float. With your seat bones. And while we do it, we can listen. I can, feel, I can feel when I sit on the truck that parts of my body are limited. And we're all limited in a way. Sure. So it's listening to what's limited and how we can bring movement to place that is limited and bring life into it. And unlocking. By letting treasures. go, by, by, letting by listening. Go. Yeah. Not just by forcing, you know, like in the gym. Pull. In Gaga, you pull, you have a fist, you can be so strong, but have a risk of a baby. Yeah. You can be strong, you can grab your bones, but let go in the joint of the shoulder. So a lot so of contradictions, many... a lot of, you know. It's like Oad, life. Oad again. always says that one idea is a bad idea. Hmm. So, so there, to pick up on one of the, the phrases that you're working with, there's this incredible sequence where uh, the dancer's running. She's just purely running. One, and, yeah. yeah, one. One dancer running around. Mm -hmm. And then another dancer enters, and they engage. They talk. Well, they scream. Yeah. She tells her something very important. I don't know, she's, she runs somewhere. She runs to something. Mm. Maybe she lost something. Maybe she, she's, you know, longing for something. Mm. And then when she, she meets the other dancer, and she, she tells her, she tells her something very urgent. Mm. It can be, you know, on the edge of, on, on the, edge of the cliff. Yeah, yeah, maybe urgency is the right word. Urgency. Well, it's also interesting because there are, there are sequences where we hear words because there's a poem that is, yeah. that is spoken, and there are sequences where there are utterances that have no words. They're mute. Mm -hmm. Why make those choices? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think because I, th I think that, you know, that the dialogue and the... And the in life, many times, you know, we hear stuff and it gives us information, but many times we have this dialogue with ourselves. Mm -hmm. There is no text, but we st we're still in this dialogue with ourselves. We're thinking, we, 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 we allow this information from the brain to go into the body and from the body to go into the brain. And it not necessarily uh, goes to specific of words. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, one word from, you can hear something on the, on the subway, just two words, and it can stay with you the whole day. There's an interesting dialogue that takes place with Bambi, the, the lighting yeah. designer. Can you just give us a sense of how that conversation started and how it worked itself into the process? I, I think what's interesting about, about this dialogue with him, that it, we, I, I don't feel that he comes and light the dancers. He comes and he, 
he really wants to give a house, a home to the piece. Mm. So it, it, he also designed the stage. Usually we, we go to a residency, for, so this piece was actually supported by the Pillow and Mess Mocha, and we had a residency there for mm -hmm. a week. And he just asked the dancers to dance the piece for a week. Really, on and on and on, and mm. he tries stuff. Mm. It, he, he, don't, it, it, he really opened a lot of possibilities. So it's, it's not really about nailing something, it's about, okay, let's see all the possibilities, which is a really interesting, uh, interesting process. process for us also, because we see where the piece the piece can really go to a different places, and you know this transition. We work on a piece for almost a year, and then in two days it should move to a different home. Hmm. So this transition is, I think, a delicate transition. That, and every time we're in the last few years, we were able to get these residencies. Uh, it's a, it's a great privilege. A question about the engagement with the audience is that an important thing for you? At in yes, and, and can you talk to that? Each each. Evening, it's different, not just because of us, also because of you. You know, it's how, a dialogue. How no? the people, it is a dialogue. You know, the, we cannot avoid the energy it. that the people create in the house is affecting what's happening in stage. And I, and I also don't. I'm not sure that it's just the just the audience. It's you know, it's this fourth wall, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's not a wall. Everything can be there. Yeah. Everything can be in front of them, and so many fantasies can be in front of them, and we walk with it because it's here. The, qu the question is about the rain effect yes, at the end and whether end. it in some way interfered, you've ever felt that it would interfere with the dance it itself. Interfered, it, you felt that it was interfering? We, I would agree with you if it would be in the, maybe in the middle of the piece, but it's kind of like a finale. And I think also the volume of what's happening on stage becomes really delicate. You know, they just stand and talk with yeah, the, they dance. quietly and you dance with, an there is something not. really delicate we, you know, it's not like we're dancing a lot behind the rain. So something in the volumes between two, the, two of it, the two of them, I think, work as a finale. The message that they try to send in this moment is there, but it's not a loud one. It's like in the, it's like in the I always say in the nature, in, in Israel we say in, in the nature, not outdoors. It's mm -hmm. like outdoors. When you see maybe the animals or the trees, they move. So they don't have to be loud, but they still they keep moving, right? The leaves. You can see it, but maybe the wind is stronger. Maybe the rain is stronger, but the leaves are still moving. So it's a little bit like that. It's a mix now. What begins a piece for you? Know. Some people have st stated, other choreographers, it's a piece of music, a piece of literature. For you, how does it start? We always begin a piece. The next piece already begun. The next, next piece. I think it's because so the way we work is, it's, it's, it, we, every day we start with a, with a Gaga class and, and, and we do a, a physical research on a daily basis. So every day we find something, and everything we find, every small thing we find, can either go into a piece that already exists, or can be a beginning of something. So we 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 kind of go to the studio every day with the idea of start, starting something new. And and our and we really try to lift up our our sensations and to touch them without fear. And you know, and that that brings lots of uh, like a, a big pool of uh, of ideas or uh, possibilities. possibilities. Thank you.